we're going to take a function, find the increasing and decreasing intervals, find the critical point, find the domain first. And towards the end, we're going to have a full picture of the function itself. So the function that we're going to use is x times the root of 4 minus x. We're going to start by finding its domain. To find the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing, we need to find the critical points first. These are going to be the thresholds, the border lines between one interval and the other. Therefore, in order to find that, we need to differentiate the function, of course, first. The derivative of f. Now, this is our critical point, which means that we need to use it in our lumber line with the signs of the first derivative to establish where the function is increasing or decreasing. Now, do remember that the domain of this function is x has to be less than or equal to 4. Therefore, we're going to end this number line at 4. And we're going to place our 8 over 3 over here, given that 8 over 3, which is 2.6 recurring, is less than 4. Going back to the way that we actually analyze where the function is increasing or decreasing, we run the increasing and decreasing test. If a derivative is greater than 0 in an interval, that means that the function is increasing at that interval. If it's less than 0, that's, that means that it's decreasing. Therefore